Shoppers in Ashton may start seeing a change in bag options at the register. News Watch Bill's Casey Kirshner is live in the newsroom now to tell us what the changes are and when those changes might begin. When heading to the checkout, people are used to being asked paper or plastic. But if a city council proposal passes at its next meeting, that will no longer be the case. Several Ashland businesses have already moved away from using plastic bags in their stores. We only have paper bag options for our customers. And if the city council passes the new proposal, plastic won't be an option at all. Ashland will ban all single-use plastic bags and paper bags will be sold for 10 cents each. It's a push from the council to be more green and residents seem to be on board. I feel like getting rid of the plastic bags isn't a bad thing because ultimately they all either end up you know, in the landfill or the ocean. So, City Council says this is its big push to move towards reusable bags. Uh, reusable bags are very easy to have, uh, carry with you. I have cut three in my truck and I just keep them with me and use them when I need them. And for businesses that use plastic bags, they'll have to make the switch. We'll just buy different bags and it'll probably end up being all right. I don't know, I never thought about it until just now. And some agencies don't agree. In a statement from the American Progressive Bag Alliance, they say Ashland is making a mistake. They say that cities moving to fully reusable bags will actually hurt the environment and eliminate over 30,000 American jobs. They also said the reusable bags that Ashland is proposing require a lot of energy to make and cannot be recycled. At this point, the council expects the proposal to pass in May and businesses that use plastic will have a six month grace period to make the transition. That's probably, that's, I'm sure that's feasible. We'll run out of bags and then, yeah, we'll probably get new bags at, in six months. The city council will have its second reading of the proposal on May 6th and if it's passed then, it will become law. Now if that happens, businesses should, should expect to be plastic free by the end of the year. Live in the newsroom, Casey Kirshner, Newswatch 12.